quick start version of the Dr. PRP process. The first thing you're going to want to do is load a 20cc syringe with your anticoagulant ACDA. Then you want to prime the needle until the ACD gets right to the tip of the, of the needle. When your blood is loaded into the syringe with your anticoagulant, be sure you tilt it up and down a couple of times to evenly mix the two. Then you're going to inject your blood sample into the Dr. PRP kit. Make sure the end cap is secure. There's a center port. You'll place your needle right into that center port, holding the kit at a 45 degree angle to prevent you from getting an airlock. And begin to inject your blood sample into the processing device. When your sample reaches the neck of the kit, you can hold it upright and begin, you, begin to continue to fill. There's a 20cc mark on one side and a 10cc mark on the other. As you're filling, keep an eye on this 20cc mark. You want to not fill your device beyond that 20cc mark. These are calibrated for 20ccs and 20ccs only. And we're right there. And as you can see, I have a little bit of the blood sample left in my syringe, but I'm going to discard that. Then you're going to take your blood sample and you're going to place it into your centrifuge directly across from your counterweight. You're going to set your timer for four minutes and your RPMs for 3400. Close the lid and hit start. Now that the centrifuge has stopped, let's see what we've got. And this is a perfect separation. What you want is anything right at this ridge or slightly, slightly below. The next step is to move the platelets, which you can see floating right around here in this portion of the bottom chamber up into the top chamber by pushing first on this knob. You want to hold it as vertically as you possibly can. And you can see that they slowly start to rise and isolate when we get them up into the neck. See the platelets right up into the neck and if you want a red blood cell free product that's where you stop pushing and you can see those platelets sequestered right there so you begin to lodge the stopper into the neck by turning the knob at the bottom counterclockwise until you can't turn it anymore then go up to the end cap and tighten it until it won't tighten any further. Go back to your end cap, I mean your bottom knob. Now, the platelets are now sequestered into this part of the chamber and your platelet core is up here. So what we will do is shake it got a few red blood cells in there but that's a perfectly good sample then you can take a 10 cc syringe remove the top plug we also refer to that as the lid insert your needle there's still an additional bladder in there that keeps it sterile and you can begin to withdraw This is my blood, it's separated beautifully. I did give a little bit more than 10 cc's of final volume. 
which you'll get occasionally from patient to patient. Now you're ready to inject your final product.